We're go. Wake up, Starflight. You're cleared for takeoff. Okay, gentlemen, let's do it. Welcome aboard Starflight One, a new breed of hypersonic airplane. An airplane so advanced that its rockets are about to thrust its passengers and crew into a space-age adventure far beyond all earthly help, where only their courage can save them. Starflight One has been designed to fly at the very edge of space, but now it is about to take them beyond, to the brink of disaster. Starflight One will touch down across the world in Sydney, Australia. That's all there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. Starflight, there's a million pieces of space junk headed towards you at 8,000 miles an hour. Pull up and climb at your best rate. They've lost all controls to rocket thrust. You know where that'll push us? 250,000 feet into space. We're an airplane, not a spaceship. Four, four, six thousand. When do they hit space? 450,000 feet. Kill the burn. We're in orbit. 87 miles up. End of ride. This is Felix Duncan aboard Starflight One. In orbit, in a weightless environment, aboard a ship that was not designed for spaceflight. The only way we're going to get that thing down here is to reactivate the booster rockets. Pete, is your hatch shut? Pete, is your hatch shut? They have 12 hours of oxygen left. I would need a bus to bring them all back. Then get them a bus. Columbia's on its way up to you, Starflight. Lucas, you're crazier than I am. A universal docking device? It could work. Uh, what do we got to lose? You're gonna try and fly this thing back? Look, without a heat shield, there's no angle that'll work. You got any better idea? Schulte, give me NASA. All we gotta do is find the right angle. Ten seconds to re-entry. DR, center your plow wave, Columbia. Five seconds. Three, two, one. It's dropping too fast. <gasps> See, I don't have control. Oh, come on, Cody. Bring her home. Lauren Hutton, Lee Majors. In Starflight One, the first real adventure in space.